The next fiber category is polyester, PET continuum polyester from Mohawk. And God, sky is the limit when it comes to PET. There are a wealth of options. You can move into a Berber product when it comes to PET. And God, if you <laughs> walk up to a olefin polypropylene PET and walk up to any olefin polypropylene polymer and walk up to any PET Berber and you'll see immediately the major difference between the two, softness, comfort. God, this is night and day from any olefin polypropylene when it comes to cloth of comfort. Then uh, you can go with a simple tonal. What tonals do is they basically give you something that's a little bit more stylish, has a little more pizzazz than let's say a simple plain Jane piece of fuzz. You'll see there's two different yarns wrapped together, hides the dirt a little bit better than a solid piece of carpet, um, hides the lint a little bit better, and adds a little flavor to the room. And then you have your simple piece of fuzz. A lot of people love it, bedrooms, den applications, living rooms. Just want to cover the floor and keep it simple as can be. Nondescript, PET gives it to you. Or you can move into patterns, designs. There's a wealth of options. And then what a lot of people today are moving away from, once again, is the Berber product based upon comfort and aesthetics. Berber has a very commercial look to it and a very commercial feel to it. And so what we've done is basically we added the fleck into a residential cup pile product in PETs. And what it does, it gives you the comfort of a softer yarn system, okay? Uh, but it gives it to you <clears throat> in a more pleasant, casual design than, let's say, the Berber olefin polypropylene fibers we discussed earlier do. Great. Now, what exactly is PET? Well, PET, quite simply, is recycled Pepsi bottles, recycled water bottles. What Mohawk, Mohawk the world's largest recycler of Pepsi bottles, does is we take your bottle, we clean them, we chop them up, scour them, we extrude the fiber, okay, we turn it into a yarn, and then we tuft it into your carpet, okay? So let's get into the pros and cons of polyester. More pros this time than there are cons. One of the biggest pros is, once again, you're taking it's a second source um, polymer. It's something that should have been thrown in a, a landfill, and it's actually being second source into your floor today. All right, uh, let's talk about cost. When it comes uh, down to PET and olefin, they're both basically in the same price range. Okay, so if you had to choose your poison between a PET and olefin, I would imagine most people would gravitate to PET because the cost is basically the same nowadays. All right, cleanliness. There are very few things that can stain a PET fiber. Incredibly stain resistant. Um, Kool-Aid won't affect it. Spill soda, red wine will not affect it, even if it lies overnight. PET doesn't take the stains, and that's what makes it so popular for parents. It's inexpensive, once again, and good for the environment, and incredibly stain resistant. All right, now let's get into the negatives. PET has what we call limited texture retention, okay? So when you walk on the fiber, just like the olefin polypropylene fiber, it's very difficult for it to bounce back and contour back to its original shape, even if you vacuum it, even if you steam clean the fiber. It has very limited texture retention. So we strongly recommend the PET fiber category in low to moderate traffic applications, such as spare bedrooms, in-law rooms, um, basement applications. You're flipping a house, you want to cover a large area for a small amount of money. PET 100%. It is the ultimate in value engineering carpet flooring today.